Hello lads, welcome to episode 22 of Only Trails, the Clue Scroll Only Iron Man. Well, I guess shout out to Neat Yella. <laughs> Thanks for loving the show. I'm in an epic ranger outfit because we're going back to hard clues. We've completed all the grinds this episode. Booty Swing, I'm actually uploading a video right now, dude. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy, because this is a big episode. This clue casket in particular is going to contain a golden chef's hat. Oh my god! We, we, you know why I'm so happy about this one? Because we officially hit a new worst easy <laughs> clue casket ever. Ever! I don't think if any of you has ever had a clue casket less than 180 coins, I want to see a screenshot. Send it to me on Twitter. It's in my description. No one, I repeat, no one is going to have this shit of a clue. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I just teleported. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Please don't hate me. That was not on purpose. Alright, so I'm killing ogres here, and I just got a longbone drop. So, <laughs> I'm here for Slayer. By the way, we're still on the Slayer grind. It's a pretty weird drop, but happy with it, I guess. There we go, that's 51 Slayer, one more level, till we can go and kill jellies, try and get the Mithril Boots. I'm actually going to try and keep my Slayer at this level for a bit, so I can complete the hard clue for the Fairy Tales Part 2, and then after that, get maybe another one or two clues from Slayer. So, that's the plan, let's do this. Yo, what the fuck? I just came here, one whacked a nice troll here, and got a rune warhammer. <laughs> what? You know, actually I can get an upgrade from these, I can actually get a rune kite shield, which is an upgrade from my Addy kite shield G I'm using, so, pretty decent task. This, and I mean it 100% this time, for sure, is the last farming level I'm going to get before we conclude the whole Herblore grind. Crazy! I'm probably only going to do two or three more farm runs after this one. Oh shit, I forgot to compost it, that's a waste. I'm so excited to start doing Herblore and get that level up to 56 and finish it up. And then we can finally just go on and do hard clues. Ah, let's fucking go! Gentlemen and 0.7% ladies, it is time. We're starting off the Herblore grind. Toeflex pot with the toad legs, Harlander with the chocolate dust, Raynor and Avanto pots with the snape grass, and Irrit potions with the eye of newts. <sighs> Hopefully it's enough. Oh my god, let's go. That's 53. Three more to go. 55 Herblore. We can now make super strength bots, which is pretty insane. Pretty great for the Slayer grind. But the most important thing, but the most important thing, one more level till we can actually complete Fairy Tales Part 2. I'm pretty confident we're going to get it. 270 more pots to make, and I didn't even make my best potions yet. Which are the fishing potions, which are so incredibly useless. Oh. My. God. It is officially over. We can complete Fairy Tale Part 2! We can now boost up to 57 and complete Fairy Tale Part 2. But, I have a crazy thing. We might get 57 this episode. Long time ago I got an unidentified large fossil from hoop snakes I killed for snake skins. Now I cleaned that and turned it into a fossilized branch. Now I thought that would give me a 5k Herblor XP lamp in the Varrock Museum. But you actually need four other parts to complete the set. Not too big of an issue though, because if I scrape together all the herbs I still have right now, I'm going to hit 57. I'm actually going to have to finish off the grind with guams. Pretty, pretty crazy, but here we go. It's the moment of truth. And we're gonna get 57. Holy shit, what a grind this was. We came from 20, I think? 20 herb lore and one farming. And in three episodes, we managed to get 57 and 50. Two. I'm actually pretty proud of myself and everyone who joined the journey joined the journey. That was pretty crazy. Let's complete fairy tale part two. All right, except for the ranger boots, this might actually be the most satisfying grind or end to a grind we've experienced on the account. That is an XP lamp and an incredible amount of herb lore and thieving experience. Well, it, it's decent, right? What can I use the skill lamp on? Um, nothing so far because we just got a new clue from the fairy queen and hopefully it is something decent, something we can do, and hopefully I don't have to drop this because I've grinded so long for this clue step. All right, it's in the wilderness, but easy, easy game. What clue step is this actually? Oh, clue step three, so this could actually be the casket. Casket, however you want to say it, shit. Oh, f oh my God, what the fuck? Since when do they hit that hard? Oh my God, 
Don't die. Don't die. I'm not gonna lose the clue. Shit, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Down here. Wait, what the fuck? Since when did it- There's a 140! Wow! That was close. I almost lost my clue. Oh, crap. Okay. Search crate. We got the casket! Okay, let's go. Let's get out. Oh my god, that was the most intense casket getting I've ever done in my life. Since when is there a 145 thing there? I've, I haven't been there in years. But, this is a casket, casket, whatever, we've spent three episodes on getting. Probably a month of herbal and farming to get this casket. And it is going to, it's going to be amazing. Here we go. Three, two, one. <gasps> the Monster Scroll Book. You know what? That's amazing. The Monster Scroll Book will open up so many bank spaces for me, and maybe the Bandos page is also unique, and maybe the Ancient page is even unique. You know what? That is actually not too bad. I could have gotten that from Easy Clues too, I believe. But let's check it out. Let's check if the Ancient page. <gasps> it is the full book. That's beautiful. That's incredible. And the Bandos page is just a filler. But look at that. The full Ancient book. We can actually turn that in. You know what? Actually, the Rune Plate links and the Rune Plate. What did it get? Yeah, so the skirt and the plate legs is also really nice because look at this cash stack. It's absolutely disgusting. Okay, but let's put all our scrolls into the book. There we go. That's beautiful. Take this one away. Put that in there. That's a couple of bank spaces fixed. Ready for the next hard clue. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw something on the homepage. I'm sorry I'm interrupting so abruptly, but... What is this? A clue scroll like buff or overhaul? Treasure Trails expansion. Hang on, we're going to go through this real quick. I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time, but this is really interesting for the account. Community ideas for the expansion. That's great. I'm really excited. Maybe I'll brainstorm some stuff and send them in. But what is this? New clue tier beginner for F2P. That's amazing. So F2P people can now do beginner clues. One to three step clues. Pretty great. Pretty. I, I like that. New clue puzzles. That's all right. Rerolling clue steps. I do not like that. For me, I'm never going to vote yes on this one because it would basically ruin the difficulty of my account. If I had a clue step that I couldn't do, I could just re-roll it. So that's not a question I'm actually answering if there's ever a poll on it because I'm just going to skip this question because my account, I can't speak for everyone, obviously. I don't know about this one. Do you guys mind? Leave it in the comments because I really want to know. This is probably the most important one uh, in quotation marks in this whole post. So. Do you guys like re-rolling clue steps? I really don't have an opinion. Well, I do have an opinion, but I can't vote on that one because of the restrictions of my account. Stackable clue scrolls and re -roll. Oh my god, that would be godlike, but it's going to get pulled and it's not going to go through. I know that already. But for me, that would be so incredibly good. I could get just, I could just grind hard clue scrolls for a whole day, get about 20, and then smack them all. Oh, that would be so great. But it's never going to go through, I know that. New clue rewards to existing tiers, okay. That's all fashion scape stuff, I guess. Plus dehyde shields, oof. Treasure trails mimic boss. A boss fight for clues? That's not even too shabby, I do like that. My combat is absolutely terrible at the moment. By the way, I'm prepping for an ogre slayer task, that's why I look like this sexy boy right now. Couple of slayer XP left, and then we can actually do jellies. I'm not going to get a second hard clue before I can do that, because while I'm killing jellies, I can also get a hard clue. We can do two things in one go, get the mithril boot grind going, and get another hard clue at the jellies. Alright, but overall, I do like a clue expansion, you know what? It makes the account way more entertaining, and I'm really hyped. I hope you guys are too. I'm curious on what you guys are going to vote for. Do you guys like the reroll option? That's actually the most important thing. The rest is just community extra items, I guess. And the boss. The boss is great. Of course I click away and I miss the milestone, but we got what we grinded for. We're completing all the damn grinds this week. The plan is to quickly finish up the Slayer task, only 13 more Banshees, and then I'm going to go to the Catacombs of Karend and kill Warped Jellies. Why not normal jellies? Uh, because the warp jellies actually have a 1 out of 64 chance to drop hard clue scrolls. The normal jellies a 1 out of 128. So I'm going to kill them with magic because that'll go down the quickest. And I do have a couple of death runes. And hopefully we get the hard clue and then the mithril boots really soon. All right, here we are in the most beautiful fashion scape outfit I could find out of my bank. I'm gonna die. See ya. Oh my god, that teleport was clutch. <laughs> Oh my god, I should pay attention and stop FKing the whole time. Ooh. 
the first rare drop, a rune kite shield. Not really the rare drop I'm looking for, would have rather had the mithril boots. I really want the heart clue first. This is the last warped jelly kill of the day. I'm closing off with 56 warped jelly kills. Going to bed right now. Range is actually going pretty well. We'll see what we get tomorrow. So I was AFKing too much again, and I died, which is which shouldn't be a big problem, but there was a guy there. So I hope he's not going to pick up all my stuff. <laughs> that I'd be really pissed. Yes. Okay, we got everything. We've got everything. I'm happy. <laughs> Back to the grind. Hey, 62 hit points. That's actually the first hit points milestone I actually show you guys. Because <laughs> I always tend to skip them or not notice them when I get the level. And that also got us a combat level. <laughs> That's the sex number. <laughs> All right. And that is 60 range right after the hit points. We can now wear red dehyde and dark bows. Probably never gonna get a dark bow, but <laughs> I don't know if I even need that for a master clue. We're officially on the same kill count as yesterday. Let's keep going. Still no clue scrolls, and we're actually almost double the drop rate for clues. <sighs> That's another room kite. That's another chance of getting the freaking mithril boots, but room kite number two. God damn it. Look at this absolute legend. What is more important, or like, not really great news, is that after this jelly, we are officially over the drop rate. <laughs> we got two rune kite shields, which is actually, uh, we actually got that, which is a 1 out of 64, so we're not really over the drop rate, but we missed two chances of getting the mithril boots. I knew this grind was going to be way harder than the adamant square shield. I just knew it. Oh no, I wasn't recording. You kidding me? I'm, ki I'm recording everything. And then right when I get an art clue scroll, I don't record it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, it was on kill count. This was the kill count. We can now officially put one clue scroll here. Sorry guys, I didn't record, I actually feel really bad. But let's first do the heart clue and then come back to the jelly so maybe we can get another one before we get the mithril boots. Let's go, let's see what the requirement is actually. I hope I can get there. It's right here, isn't it? Dude. I didn't bring my clue scroll. Oh my fucking god. Come on, please let it be the casket, and I'm already done. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. White Wolf Mountain, Double Agent, Mithril Plate, Rex, Ring of Life, Rune Axe. We got all those, very easy clue. Oh god, I don't have a Rune Axe. Store price, 40k? Oh, that's in the Woodcutting Guild, I can't even get in there. Okay, what's the plan? Um, Players must have a Woodcutting level of 60. Oh, wait. <laughs> I can actually almost get in the Woodcutting Guild to buy the Rune Axe. So let me train my wood cutting to 60, but I need the... I need 75% Hosidious favor. <sighs> I hope it's not too difficult. Yeah, that's 60 wood cutting, so... <laughs> that was pretty quick. I just decided to cut some oak logs here in Zaya, because I need to be here anyway for the Hosidious house. I hope I know what I'm doing. And we're off. I'm probably not going to like this one bit, but... We're getting farming XP, alright. Actually, it's going decently quick, I feel like. Okay, this is probably my last lap, and then I've got 70% Hothidius favor, there we go! Oh my god! The reason I plowed from 0 to 70% is because I, it is, it is semi-AFK, and I had a lot of work to do for school, for work, for this YouTube channel, so it was actually perfect. It took about, it took a fat 6-7 hours, I think. Um, but we got it, so we can just enter the woodcutting guild and actually get ourselves the rune axe, complete the clue, easy! Boom, let me get in, boom! Oh my god, it's 75! Right, so here we are. <laughs> Got a couple of favor. Oh, that's a hard task completed. That's decent. But yeah, trained up to 75% favor. Let's go to the bank and get that rune axe. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. Bam! Oh my god, that's absolute trash. That's the sixth one. Well, you know what? The lobsters are decent. And this is a decent alkable, I guess. But, mm, mm, mm not that great. Guess we go back to the jellies. PCs in my region to train on. <gasps> oh my god, tell me I'm recording. Oh, the grind is over, ladies and gentlemen. We got the mithril boots. There it is. We can actually complete the medium clue. Now, where do we have to be? Look at that. After 109... Oh, crap. I'm not even... There we go. <laughs> I was not even on the screen. After 191 warp jellies, we got one pair of mithril boots. Two room kites and one clue scroll. I did expect about two clue scrolls, but 
Anyways, let's go and complete the medium clue. Okay, we just got the medium casket from the mithril boots clue. That's pretty convenient. Here we go. Maybe we can get another pair of ranger boots. Let's rub the ranger boots for good measure and boom! I mean, that's absolute trash. Okay, I'm going to open these eclectic kindlings too so I can maybe get a medium clue and complete that one real quick. There we go. That's medium clue number one. Let's quickly get this guy over with. Kind of funny how we finished the clue where we started it, but <laughs> we're here in the Castle Wars lobby getting the last casket. It's a medium casket, I'm sorry. I need to figure out a way to get hard clues. And someone on Twitter, actually, I'm going to give you a shout out. I'm going to say Kielas, but it's really probably horribly pronounced. Kielas said that I should kill green dragons with the Ring of Wealth Eye in the wilderness. So maybe I should get the Ring of Wealth Eye. Anyways, I'll figure it out along the way. Here is a medium casket with nothing. Ooh, a lot of food though. I do appreciate the food. I like food. For the second medium clue of this episode, we're going to dig, we're going to open, and we get... Oh! And the stool, I would have rather gotten a crozier, but it's a unique. And I'm really glad we're unique, so you guys know that. All right, guys, unfortunately, I have to end the episode here. But as you can see, I'm going straight back into getting, trying to get heart clues. So next episode, we can actually do like a couple. Because <laughs> we only did one or two. No, we only did two this episode. So really looking forward to grinding a crap ton of heart clues out. So I'm doing my best to get as many as I can. Anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. If you watch it all the way through, why are you not subscribed? Watch all the other videos. It's a great series. I enjoy it. You guys seem to enjoy it. So <laughs> I upload every two. Tuesday, so I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Peace.